Hey, it's BGV, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. In the last episode, we started to recruit a bunch of people for our uh, Brothers in Arms quest. This is pretty important here, and I think we're going to at least talk to everybody. Uh, as somebody said, we might be able to just get Zoltan if we talk to him. <laughs> Um, in the last episode, and that might be right, uh, actually I think two episodes ago, yeah, somebody commented that we might be able to get Zoltan on our side if we just talk to him, so we're gonna try that, and, uh, we're just gonna talk to everybody, I think most people are gonna require some side quests, obviously, but I do think you do get some free people, as I've said, so let's talk to Zoltan. Zoltan? Okay, let's see, need your help fighting the Wild Hunt. I know where Siri is. Then why are we here? Let's go get the lassie. I'll do that. But I have another job for you. You need to set out for Kaer Morhen. That's where I'll take Siri. The Wild Hunt will attack soon afterwards. Could use you at our side. You'll have me and my axe. Thanks. See you at Kaer Morhen. Vesemir, Eskel, and Lambert are already there. There we go. I wonder if and my axe is a reference to Gimli from the Lord of the Rings saying the same sort of thing. Probably. Maybe not. Okay, so let's take a look at our quests, shall we? Uh, we have Brothers in Arms in Novigrad. We need to talk to Triss, Dijkstra, and Zolt... Er, De uh, Triss, Dijkstra, and Roche. And then we have Skellige, uh, Ermion, Croc, and then help resolve the matter of the, su uh, of the succession to the Skellige throne, which we'll probably do since uh, we've done so much towards that quest anyways. And plus, all of this stuff is going to give us a lot of experience. Uh, but we're not going to get every single person, as I've said. Uh, we need to talk to Amir Var Emrys, which is Ciri's legitimate father. Right? I think... He is her blood father, although Geralt's more of her actual father. Uh, Brothers in Arms, Velen, talked to Kira Metz, who we didn't do her quest for, if I remember right. So, we should probably start with uh, Triss and Dijkstra, since they're both right around here. Uh, so, let's go ahead and switch to Dijkstra. That's 290 meters away, and then Triss is closer, but they're both in the same general direction. So as I've been comparing this to, uh, yeah, it's like Mass Effect. You want to get as many people on your side as humanly possible. It's going to make the big fight against the Wild Hunt easier, depending on how many people you have. And, of course, during a normal playthrough, uh, I usually complete everything. So that usually means that I've completed everybody's side quests, and it's no big deal. Um, and I think you can get pretty much everybody. There are people that you shouldn't be able to get no matter what, uh, and that will become clear in time, but we're going to talk to Triss Marigold first. We have helped her, but I forget if she has a uh, another quest that we'd have to do for us, uh, for her to actually help us. Why is it telling me to go this way? Looks like her house is right over here, but it's upstairs somewhere. Oh man, the houses. It looks like there is like a bridge. Yeah, it looks like we need to go up there and then cross the... Can we even do that though? I don't know, let's head into here. Yes? Who are you here for? Triss. Told her from the start. No men, no pets. It is a decent house for decent folk. Don't worry, won't stay long. Yeah, so never, ever, 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 ever follow the little dots on the Witcher map. They always lead you to ruin. Uh, lots of lessons to be learned in this playthrough. Anyways, looks like Triss will be at the top here. Geralt, I've got a problem. Can we talk? Yes, Geralt? I finally know where Ciri is. Really? That's wonderful. Wait, why haven't you brought her here? Is she in danger? Guessed it. As soon as I reach her, the Wild Hunt will know. I need you to go to Kaer Morhen. As soon as I have Ciri, I'll take her there. We'll face the hunt together. Geralt, you know I'd do anything for Ciri, but we'll need to evacuate the mages from the city any day now. They're counting on me. I can't leave them. I understand. Maybe we can make this work. If you helped me, we'd speed things up considerably. Think about it, and let me know. Look what I picked up. Artifact compression. Someone got themselves enchanted in this figurine. Intend to decompress? Of course. Whoever cast the spell on the poor soul must have forgotten about him. Looks like a nobleman. 
Could be just that. Come with me. I can't perform the ritual here. Okay, we might as well pick up some experience points wherever we can. Everything's ready. Let's get to work. Let's try it. Think it's a nobleman. Be on your guard. It could be something far more dangerous. In Alan, Dwana, our ice. No, Carl, no! I, I can explain everything! Coral? I never looked at the last. You are my one and only. Oh, oh, you're not Coral. Some succubus. A uh, delusion. Where, where, where am I? What is your name? Hmm? We're in Novigrad. Novigrad. In Novigrad? Last I recall, I was in Oxenfurt, and Coral was furious. How can she demand fidelity when she herself is wanton as... as... As youthful goats. Exactly. Damn it! I feel as if I've been trampled by a herd of cattle. I have no notion what she did to me. But it seems you've delivered me from my misfortune. Here. Take this. Have a good time. Paint the town coral. Whose taste has grown worse since you were sleeping with her. Come on, the kind-hearted gentleman will get along fine on his own. Two experience points? 30 crowns? Okay, we didn't really do much, so... Lesser Glyph of Axie. Anything else? The Nobleman's Statuette. Okay. Uh, let's go to Dijkstra. Help Triss finish what she has to do in Novigrad. So, yeah, like I said, we're going to be foregoing most of these... Whoa, what is that? There's a quest marker, like, right over there. Oh, Triss. Duh. Uh, yeah, we're going to be foregoing most of these people. Just to keep this Let's Play moving along. But, um, yeah, most of these guys are going to have, guys and gals are going to have side quests that you can do for them. Uh, and, if you don't remember, if you have no clue what the heck that little statuette was about, I think we went to a bookstore or some sort of miscellaneous store type of thing. And um, we acquired three different items that we can interact with to complete little tiny quests. Uh, like that one, so that's what that was about. I can't believe it gave us two experience points. Okay, let's try to not see any titties whatsoever. I mean, again, it's so weird that as a straight man I'm uttering that phrase, but seriously, it, it makes me edit them titties out. And there's too many titties in The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Another phrase I never thought I would say. Hello. Got a minute? I do. What do you want? Wasn't sure I should even ask you. Still not. But what the hell? I could honestly use some help. Oh, my help. Very interesting. Do tell. Wild Hunt's gonna attack Kaer Morin soon. It's a sure thing. Looking for people, resources, anything that'll help me repel them. The Wild Hunt? Don't tell me you believe that nonsense. Hardly nonsense. Got a taste of it. A painful taste. On my own skin. Hmm. Sorry, Geralt, but I've my own pile of problems just now. I've not recovered my lost property. Your help, you might remember, left much to be desired. So I don't owe you shit. And I don't think there's any way for you to actually get... Oh! <laughs> Damn it. I'm gonna have to literally cut for like a frame because there's some titties on the screen. <laughs> Um, okay, let's find a signpost, because we're going to uh, need to go find Roche now. Let's see. What is the nearest one? Looks like this one. Yeah, I don't think there's any way to get Dijkstra on your side. Um, as I've said, you know, I've completed everything in the past, so... I believe Dijkstra doesn't help you, uh, even when you've done everything. He's always... Whoops. He's always uh, 
he always feels like you didn't help him fully, which is just ridiculous. If I remember right, we did a lot for him, you know, but he doesn't uh, doesn't appreciate it. Oh my god, Novograd. Why not just put a damn break there so I can move past it? Now I'm trying to find a way to, like, go over here to the right. Okay, 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 keep going. There we go. Okay. I think we need to keep an eye out for some, um... Oh, we need to level up. That's the priority so we can equip that upgrade to feline armor. All right, let's see where Roche is. Uh, Roche should be somewhere over here. Temerian Partisan Hideout. Uh, just like Triss, I, I don't believe Roche is going to help us unless we complete his side quest, which I'm forgetting exactly what it is. Um, yeah, I really don't remember what Roche has you do. I do know it deals with Vess, which apparently... Uh, I only know these people because of their this cards, for the most part. Don't have any uh, experience with them from previous games. Geralt of Rivia. Safe and sound. Could use your help at Kaer Morin. Aim to take Ciri there. Wild Hunt's bound to appear soon after. Geralt, we've known each other for a while. You know I'd never turn you down normally. But right now I have some troubles. A hideout that is no more, a weapon shipment that failed to make its destination, and Vess drilling a hole in my gut. I'll go nowhere until I resolve at least the last. At least the last, huh? Well, maybe we could make one... Oh my gosh, I hate it so much when I can't remember such a simple word. Uh, exception was the word. Geralt of Rivia, safe and sound. Mentioned you have a problem. Mm-hmm, it's Vess. She took a couple of lads across the river. She plans to hit the Black Ones at Mulberdale. So, sounds about like what guerrilla fighters do. Yes, when they're ordered to. Whereas I forbade her from leaving camp. Indefinitely. All right, so you've got a problem. Insubordination. What am I supposed to do about it? I doubt Vess has entered the village. More likely she and the boys lie in wait in the woods nearby. We must find her before she attacks, and stop her. You're a good tracker. Help me. Sorry, Roach. Rather not get involved. This is between you and Vess. Mm, hard luck. Don't let me keep you. Okay. I was gonna do it, um, but then I had a change of heart, unfortunately. Uh, and we can still do it. I don't know. I'm still making my mind up on exactly what I want to do because I just don't remember these quests and how involved they are. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to another one. Let's at least, you know, talk to everybody first so we know what we're dealing with. Uh, we can always, like I said, return and, and do these if we really want to. Uh, we've got Kira Metz. Uh, let's go ahead and talk to her. Yeah, since it's only one person in Velen. And I believe we've gotten everybody. I could be wrong. But as far as, like, you know, being able to talk to all of these different NPCs, I think we've gotten everybody. Uh, Amir Von Emrys is going to be easy because Vizima only has one place you can go to, just his palace. Uh, I don't think, you know, it's not like he's going to... I forget what he says, but it's not like he's going to um, saddle up and come right out. He's like a damn, I guess, king? I'm not sure what his title would be, but he's the leader of uh, the Nilf Guardians. So, yeah, he's definitely not going to saddle up but i mean his daughter is on the line here so he should do something right i don't like it in rpgs when there's just like a sort of um oh we can't do it because of this you know some stupid excuse like he's got power and he makes it very evident that he has power so if he doesn't help us he's he better have some big ass excuse or else i'm gonna be disappointed now let's loot all of her alchemical ingredients really quick okay uh, it's been quite a while since we've talked to Kira Metz. The rats, why did he need them? Lady Rodens? Kira, what are you doing? Geralt. <laughs> you gave me quite a start. But nay, the mage says bring me rats and healthy ones. Not something the cat drags in. This the lamp from the elf's hideout? And what's this about rats? Nothing important. I'll explain later. Now tell me, to what do I owe the pleasure? Finally know where Ciri is. 
I want to take her to Kaer Morhen. Is that so? Nice to hear. But is there any particular reason you're telling me this? Well, the Wild Hunt will know I've found her when I do. They'll attack. Want you to help me repel them. Ah. <laughs> this is awkward. I mean, I'd gladly help, but I have a few more things to tend to in this charming dunghole. Perhaps, if you were to help me first... <laughs> Let me think about it. You know where to find me? See you, Kira. Okay, I absolutely do remember this one. Um, yeah, this is a pretty long and involved quest, but it's really good as well. Uh, let's see, where was our... Give me that, thank you. Where was our signpost? Let me take a look at the world map real quick. Uh, Midcops? Was that the closest one? I thought we were closer. Uh, anyways, yeah, I do remember that quest from Kira Metz, and it's a really, really good one. Uh, but it is quite long. And I think if we don't help these people, some different things happen. You know, depending on, um, yeah, if you get involved or not, the story will take different turns. Sometimes for the worse, sometimes for the better. Maybe always for the worse, actually, because I don't think a developer would reward you for not getting involved in an RPG. But like I said, priority right now is to just get, why is it not letting me, to just get um, all of these different quests. So the next one we'll do is uh, Nilfgaard. We'll talk to Amir Von Emrys. Which is going to be in Vizima, which we need to get to on the world map. Royal Palace in Vizima. Yeah, forget what forget what he says. Uh, he probably gives us some excuse like everybody else. I just don't remember. Yeah, it's unfortunate that we rarely see those loading screens because, as I've always said, as I've always said, they're really good. Okay, talk to Amir von Emrys, and luckily we don't have to go through the whole rigmarole. Whoa, why is our what? Oh, that's interesting. It's saying our pack's too heavy in the top left there, but I think um, if you can look at our weight in the top left there, we've got 28 pounds to go. So I think it just gives you that state so that you have to walk slowly in the Nilfgaardian Palace, which is kind of funny uh, <laughs> because they didn't take the time to remove the uh, icon in the top left, you know. It'd be like if you were playing Oblivion or Fallout and you were over-encumbered but they would have the over encumberment uh, flashing in the top left when really it's just making you stand still. You know, it's a little little bit lazy there. So that's kind of funny. Okay, let's see. What's his excuse going to be? What is your excuse going to be, Amir Var Emrys? Your Imperial Majesty. Witcher, why have you come? I've managed to find out where Ciri is. Finally, I've begun to doubt the wisdom of enlisting you. Bring her here at once. The Wild Hunt's pursuing her. Kaer Morin's the only place she'll be safe. That was not a suggestion. I can defend my own daughter. Okay, so I think I knew this on some level, but people keep reminding me. That's Charles Dance, who also plays Tywin Lannister on Game of Thrones. And I think, honestly, they could have not hired a better actor to play uh, this guy here. So, excellent, excellent job on casting CD Projekt Red. Uh, that was not a suggestion. I can defend my own daughter. I doubt that. Can't compare the Wild Hunt to Temerian Shieldbearers or Lyrian Archers. Facing it here would put Vizima at risk. Hundreds of innocents could die. Kaer Morhen is in a wilderness, and your army stands to be far more helpful there. Hmm. Agreed. I shall send the banner with you. On one condition, General Voris will lead it. Can't agree to that. And I cannot agree to witches commanding my troops. Well, I'm not about to give in. You don't look it either. Sorry to take up your time, Your Majesty. Bring me Ciri. I will, if that's what she wants. Okay, so I don't know what that means. Uh, General Voris, obviously, I guess there's bad blood between Geralt 
and this General Voris character. Uh, if anybody knows any backstory, feel free to let me know in the comment section below. Um, I'm assuming that deals heavily, or is it this guy? Oh, it is this guy. Okay, I was wondering if it, if it was this dude or not, but I don't know if he's a new character. Uh, wasn't he the one asking us all of those questions at the start of the game? So, we just met him, right? I feel like I'm wrong, but I don't know why I'm wrong. Anyways, um, we have Croc and we have Ermion, and we have help resolve the matter of the uh, succession to the Skellige throne, which I think we will do. What is that? Brothers in Arms, talk to Ermion. We could talk to Ermion first, or should we do that later? Um, probably later. Why is it not giving me... Okay, let's exit out of this real quick. Okay, let's see. Yeah, we're done with that. We're done with that. And we have this one. Um, talk to Ermion, talk to Croc. Help resolve the matter of succession to the Skellige throne. So let's do this one. Let's do Croc, because that should lead us to the same area anyways. Now, where is it taking me? To the same spot. Huh. Okay. Well, we'll head to the Druid's camp. Um, Ermion is the Druid, the guy with the antlers that had an issue with Yennefer, if you remember. I wonder how these loading screens do this. I think they make it so that it makes it play the whole entire voiceover, and then it loads the game. Like, you literally... Oh, you can skip it. Oh, wow. I feel like an idiot. I could have literally been skipping it the whole entire time. Okay, Croc is fairly close. Or, Ermion is fairly close. Like I said, yeah, that's the... I guess the court druid? As opposed to, like, a court mage. You know, since this is Skellige, things are done a little bit differently here. I forget if Ermion helps us or not. I mean, the, the thing is, you gotta think about these people sort of on foot battling the wild hunt because I think that's really what they can offer. I don't think anybody even offers anything else other than that. Like, Ermion would be great, I guess, if he could give us some magic or something, but really the thing is, if a, if a person can't be using their abilities to fight, then they're probably not going to help us. But I don't know. I just don't remember Ermion helping us, um, even if you do his quests, even if he has a quest. Okay, let's see here. So we need to go... Yeah, that's right. There's like a hole in the ground. Can we talk? The Wild Hunt will attack Kaer Morhen soon. Gonna need your help. A Wild Hunt? Are you certain? So, uh, you found Ciri? I know where she is. And the Wild Hunt will also learn that as soon as I find her. I see. I shall pack immediately. Leave tomorrow at the latest. Thank you. No need. I raised the girl, and I've still a duty to her. I shall see you at Kaer Morhen. Wow. Okay. Well, I was completely wrong then. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll also resolve this. We'll have to uh, keep the objective on Talk to Croc, because it's not showing me anything else for the other one. Um, now, we need to find a... Yeah, now it's leading me to Care Trolled. I mean, I knew where it was. I just was trying to follow the, um, was trying to follow the uh, objective in case it changed. Okay, let's hop on Roach. And let's get our ass over to a signpost. And then, yeah, uh, we'll do, we'll finish off this quest. Oh, oh. I wanted to at least finish one side quest for these, uh, for these characters here, but we've already put so much stock into doing the succession quest line. So we might as well finish it off. And then hopefully they'll help us. And then I think we'll have a nice little troop of people helping us out. We'll of course miss out on some people, but I think we'll be able to do it. Okay, so back to Care Trolled. I think last time, um, was it being attacked by bear? No, we killed the bears, right? But everything was in disarray, so I think um, we need to help them figure out who set the bears on the, uh, the on crates, I suppose. We can also head over there to get some little, um, improvements to our weapons and armor, and I think we'll just, uh, we'll run right into it. Okay, who did we need to talk to? Help resolve the matter of the succession to the Skellige throne. I'm not even going to talk to Croc just yet. 
Um, like unless we have to. Because it's not giving us any objectives for this one. Yeah, I suppose we just need to go talk to Croc. Let's do that. Telling you, Geralt, since you and Yalmer defeated the Ice Giant together, I see you as one of our own. I got the look of a Skelliger. You've got the heart of an Uncrate. This isn't easy, but I need to ask you a favor. A big one. Tell me, friend. Siri, I know where she is, but I also know that as soon as I reach her, the Wild Hunt will know I did. They'll come after us, attack, and we'll need to respond with strength. Can I count on you? The Black Ones first, now wraiths. Such is life. Bring her here, and we'll face them in battle. Can't risk your men's lives. Care more in. We fight them there, nowhere else. Kermorhan is hundreds of miles away. To move an army there would take weeks. Not to mention, I'd expose the Isles to Nilfgaard's blows. Geralt, forgive me, but I cannot do it. I understand. Won't take up any more of your time. Farewell. Wait. Won't let you leave empty-handed. I'll help as I can. Come with me. I was thinking the same thing. I was like, what is Geralt thinking? I mean, it's going to take so much time for Beautiful some Skelligers to get over Got a talented smith. to the mainland. Not I. King Erlen Duncrate did. Erlen Stonefist? So this is Winter's Blade. Thought it was a legend. Forged in Mahakam. Tempered in dragon fire. Been in the Uncrate family for centuries. And now... It's yours. I can't take this. You can. You must. Let me do this much at least. If you insist. Thank you. May it serve you well. Send those specters back where they came from. That's my intention. Farewell. Yeah, that's one excuse that I think actually really works. What did we get? 50 experience points. Winter's Blade. I don't know how it works in The Witcher. I'm assuming things are scaled. Um, which means this should probably be... What? It's not even good? Uh, what is this? Okay, steel swords replacing... Oh, yeah, blade of bits, right? Um, blade from the bits. Wow, 14 damage decrease. Okay, so blade of the bits gives us plus 50% critical hit damage bonus. And winner's blade gives us 40 armor piercing, plus 55% critical hit damage bonus, and a 10% chance to freeze. Also, it's valued at much higher than uh, the blade from the bits. This might be better. Plus, it's got an extra slot uh, so we can equip two glyphs on it. That might be better. I don't know how much of a difference 14 damage is, honestly. Um, is it literally just points of damage? So we deal like 14 literal points of damage uh, to, to a monster's health. Do we not have a crossbow equipped as well? How did I find a way to unequip my crossbow? What? Um, okay, so... Huh. This is the same amount of damage uh, for the feline steel sword here. Chance to cause bleeding, bonus experience from humans and non-humans. Um, I think we'll use the blade from the bits. Uh, let's go ahead with Winter's Blade. I don't know how much of a difference, um... 14 points of damage is, but... The benefits are definitely better for the Winter's Blade. And with that, ladies and gents, we're going to go ahead and end this episode here. What we're going to do next is we are going to resolve the succession because it's still part of uh, getting people along. So whoever succeeds the throne might actually be able to help us. I don't remember if they are or not, but obviously I forgot that Ermion does, in fact, help us. So uh, we'll do that, and then we'll go ahead and jump into the big next section of gameplay. Thank you so much for watching this episode, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.
song is sweet.